2021 Camaro for a cure. One of one. What's up everybody welcome back to horsepower obsessed thank you for pressing play today we have something really freaking cool we are here at click lewis in palmyra pennsylvania but there's an awesome car here that we have to take a look at let's get into it All right guys, so not too long ago, I was here at Click Lewis and I reviewed a 2021 ZL1 1LE. Now, this is the same car for the most part, but the difference is this is not Click Lewis's car. I just so happened to be here for the Corvette show and didn't a local winner show up with his Jeff Gordon special edition ZL1 1LE Camaro that he won. Hey Alex, this is Jeff Gordon from the Jeff Gordon Children's Foundation. How are you today? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I think you might be doing better though. Do you like Camaros? I don't even joke. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I will make it official. Congratulations. You are 2021 Camaro for a Cure winner. You're going to go home with that beautiful Camaro Z01. <laughs> Oh my God, that is outstanding. We're gonna actually talk to him a little bit later in today's video and go over some of the details of how he won this car and what his experience was and all that good stuff. But he has been gracious enough to hand me the keys for this car to literally drive this thing. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably asking yourselves by now, well, wait a second, Justin, you already reviewed the ZL11 LE. And yes, I did. But if you remember, it was brand new and I really couldn't do a lot with it. Alex, the owner of this particular one, has already driven it a couple hundred miles. He's already kind of broken it in. So we can we can do a little bit more with this review, go through the paces a little bit more and see why this is the ultimate Camaro. Now, obviously outside of the fact that this is the ultimate Camaro being a ZL11 LE, it is a special edition Camaro signed by Jeff Gordon for a good cause. So basically what this is all about is Jeff Gordon makes one of these cars and he sells 15 thousand tickets you can enter to win this car 15,000 possible times now Alex purchased one ticket <laughs> one time and he managed to win this thing so the only difference is really with the ZL1 1LE Jeff Gordon edition is of course the painted gold splitter side skirts brake calipers and the rear diffuser slash valets so basically it's all cosmetic but what we're really gonna do here is kind of get to review this car because the last time we did, we really couldn't put it through its paces and this car's a little bit more opened up for us to have a little bit of fun. Now, of course, it's someone else's car, so I'm not necessarily gonna go and completely destroy the thing, but we're gonna, we're gonna give a little bit more gas than we got to give the last one. So just to kind of recap on things, we're gonna start at the front here. Obviously, you guys know the ZL1 1LE is a freaking beast. It has this gigantic, air opening in the front as you can hear the air conditioning is on in this car because it is 92 degrees here in pennsylvania today what makes the zl1 1le different than the zl1 it starts with these dive planes right here we have a bunch more aerodynamic bits to the car as well as a satin or matte black wrapped hood a gigantic wing in the back 19 inch wheels in the front and rear with massive 30530 rubbers on them. I mean, these, these tires are just gigantic. And in the rear, they're 325. So this thing is definitely looking to put down some power. It's looking to handle itself. And of course, if you guys know the car, you know it does handle itself on the Nürburgring. It is one of the fastest Camaros ever. Now, with that said, the real magic obviously happens under the hood. So let's take a look. So this car uses the exact same power plant for the most part out of a C7 Corvette Z06, with the only difference being it is not a dry sump. Other than that, it is the same 6.2 liter, 650 horsepower supercharged engine you will find in a C7 Corvette Z06. The second biggest difference between the ZL1 and the ZL11 LE is the suspension. So you can kind of see on the top strut here, it's a little bit different looking. There's no magnetic rod control in this particular car. It uses the DSSV Multimatic shocks. And those things are absolutely insane. If you guys remember the previous video where I drove one of these, it's rough, it's stiff. And I never pretended for a second that it wasn't. So we're gonna get to go for a ride, put it through its paces a little bit more and really dig into this suspension on this car. And of course, one last thing that really makes it special under the hood is this. This is the Jeff Gordon's 
Children's Foundation Driven to Beat Childhood Cancer 2021 Camaro for a Cure. One of one. So here is Alex. This is the owner of this fantastic ZL11LE from Jeff Gordon. Alex, tell us a little bit about how you came to be the owner of this car. I saw a news piece on Jeff Gordon's uh, Cancer for a Cure, Camaro for a Cure, I should say, uh, foundation, uh, his children's foundation, and I thought, well, it's a hundred dollar raffle for to win this beautiful car, and I couldn't resist giving it a shot. I mean, it was for a great cause, and I thought, well, if I lose a hundred dollars for a Camaro, whatever, it's going going to a great cause. And I got the call on March 31st from Jeff Gordon himself saying that I was the actual grand prize winner. That is so I crazy. I didn't believe it, but yeah. uh, here it is. That's awesome. We have Anderson and Elliot. These are his his two kids. How do you guys like riding in this beast? Fast, but bumpy. Bumpy, yeah. A one of one ZL1, one LE from Jeff Gordon, and a guy in her, you're from Hershey? Uh, Palmyra. Palmyra. Yep. Guy, very local to Click Lewis, obviously, wins it. 15,000 tickets, so the foundation actually raised $1.5 million. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, okay. And, uh, I was the ticket. A uh, young, young man by the name of Zach drew my name out of the tumbler, and, uh, yeah. You gave Zach a high five or something, right? <laughs> I haven't met Zach yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. And when we go to get in the car, guys, we are greeted with, again, just your typical ZL11 LE stuff. We got some Alcantara up here at the top of the door panel, more here on the armrest. And of course we have a Bose sound system in here. We are greeted with a Camaro door sill plate right as you enter into the Alcantara center wrapped seats with some leather on the outside, red stitching all the way through. And of course we can't miss that Recaro stamp. But the best part of the ZL11 LE has to be right here. Yes, it is a manual transmission and that is unbelievably cool. Just recently, the ZL11 LE started coming with the automatic 10 speed as an option, but this is a manual. So let's go ahead, get inside, take this thing for a spin and see what we can find out about that suspension and see if it's really as rough as I made it sound in the previous video. So in the interior of the car, we still have the center LCD screen there, as well as your entertainment screen. And of course the camera rear view mirror, which is gonna be very useful in a car like this because there is very limited visibility out the side and the front. Like I said before, this thing is kind of cut like a tank. There's not a whole lot of visibility in the Camaros, unfortunately, but this really helps. When we're sitting in the interior, one of the first things you notice is that hood bulge, the carbon fiber, along with the matte wrapped black hood. Yeah, I mean, guys, this thing is really just a performance beast in all the senses of the word. But let's go ahead, put this thing in sport mode, unlock that exhaust a little bit because it sounds a lot better now. And of course we will get you an exhaust note in a second. Two seconds later. <laughs> So like I said there guys, you can see the owner has put 730 miles on the car so far. And in the interior, there are a couple different options I've noticed over the one that I've reviewed here at Click Lewis before. The biggest one is this shift knob has kind of a carbon fiber inlay on top of the actual gears. And it looks pretty cool. Other than that, one other piece is over here on the dash, a nice carbon fiber dash insert to really just put this thing over the top. The previous Camaro I reviewed did not have that or the shift knob add-on here. This was actually just a red piece. It was not carbon fiber like this one. So this one's really optioned out, really to make sure that if you win this car, you're winning something very special. And off we go. Okay, all right, all right. Feels a little stiff. I know I've said that a bunch of times before, guys, but uh, it, it is a stiff riding car and it's supposed to be. It is the most track capable Camaro ever. So we're gonna try to hit some of these roads up here. See if we can get this car moving a little bit. See exactly what the issue is. Oh my God, I love this car though. This is such a fantastic freaking automobile. The shifter feels good, the clutch feels good. Again, for 650 horsepower, 650 horses of power, this thing really, really handles itself well. I'm always impressed with stuff like that. So, 
give here a good bit of supercharger. This, this thing is not exactly the lightest car on the planet, but yeah, this, this suspension is stiff, but it, it doesn't, it's really not that bad. I mean, I, I might have over-exaggerated it in the previous video, and I know some of you guys called me on that, but at the same time, yeah, it, it is stiff. It's stiff, but it's not, if you want a performance car, I mean, there's no doubt when you enter this car and start driving it that this is a performance suspension. All right, guys, let's see what second gear has to offer. Oh, my God. <laughs> this car is so freaking quick in those bumps. Oh, man, it, it handles the pavement. Listen to that. Oh, that supercharger line is fairly pronounced, more so than it was in the C7 Z06. Man, this thing sounds good. This, this is a blast to drive, though. You just immediately know you're in a performance car. It's just slamming over the bumps, but it is staying perfectly flat. There is literally no freaking body roll in this car at all. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever driven a car that handled like that. I mean, this, there is literally no roll. The car just stays flat. I feel like I want to do this the entire drive. <laughs> This is so freaking awesome. Again, I, I, I just, I can't get enough of it. I mean, this is un, that's unbelievable. This car handles insanely well. Oh man, I definitely did not give this car its dues. I love Camaros, guys. I have always loved Camaros. I used to own a fifth gen Camaro ZL1, and this thing. This, this may just be on my list. It, like I said, it is rough, but man, is it fun. Those tires just grip. There's grip for days. I am really, really liking what I'm feeling so far. Again, I don't know if I would take this car as a daily driver, but I don't know. Maybe I would. <laughs> you, these, these are the kind of things that only obsessed people would really want to put themselves through because it is not necessarily a comfortable riding car, but it was never built to be. So let's, let's see what this oh man let's see what this back road has. <laughs> oh man, this car is too freaking much. I am loving it. It's rough though it, it really is when you're going over the Pennsylvania roads it gets rough stays so flat. I mean, <laughs> that was a turn going definitely faster than I should have. And it just takes it. I mean, no, no skidding at all. The, the tires know exactly what they're doing. The suspension knows exactly what it's doing. I would have to say this is a very well engineered setup here. So the DSSV Multimatic struts, shocks, are not necessarily GM's invention. They're actually, from what I understand, they are developed by a third party and GM just uses them on some of their performance cars. GM actually has this same suspension set up on the fifth generation Camaro Z28. And the only other car that GM uses it on is actually not a car, it's a truck. So my Colorado ZR2 
uses the same kind of shock setup. Oh, she got a little squirrely there, I think. That's weird because it is very hot today, so I'm sure these tires are gripping very well. We got some back road driving here. Definitely not bad. Typically sticking in about third gear, about 3,000 RPM to just keep the, the perkiness up. Guys, this thing, it just eats up these turns. No problems whatsoever. This car, as long as there's not a massive amount of bumps on the road, these, these shocks are just destroying any turn I throw at them. Exhaust, making all the right noises back there, guys. Making some popcorn. Oh my God, I am loving this. I gotta stop test driving cars like this. This freaking Camaro ZL1 is such a fantastic platform. The one LE, <laughs> it is just so flat. I don't know that. I don't think I've ever driven a car that stays this flat. I literally could put a cup of water up here and the thing would stay flat. It would never splash over the sides. It is so strange how this car reacts. Now, I obviously have my Corvette ZR1 and that thing has like an insanely awesome suspension on it and it is not like this. The car does not stay perfectly flat like that. This thing is, is something else. I know you guys probably think I'm freaking nuts by now, but it is... It is seriously impressive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this thing is too much fun. Those big 305s up front, I feel like I could steer for days. I could go into pretty much any turn at any speed. in a different mood but basically I still don't think I'd want to daily drive this car but I would definitely have this as a weekend warrior or or even two or three times a week driver I mean it's not something you're gonna to want to daily drive the working back but to have some fun it doesn't get better than this this is freaking amazing and just so everybody on the road can think I'm a weirdo one more time guys check this out <laughs> I mean I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It stays so flat. It's so fun. Like, this doesn't even feel natural. Wow. I, I'm... Color me impressed here, guys. Let's park the car, jump out, and talk a little bit more about it. And, of course, we're going to give a gigantic thank you to Alex for letting us drive this thing. Guys, this car is freaking amazing. ZL1 1LE. If it is not on your list, it probably should be. This thing is a monster. All right, guys, so we are back from our test drive. I am very, very, very impressed with the car. The DSSV shocks, struts, they're fantastic. They, they do everything apparently, and they do everything pretty well. Minus low speed kind of putting around, they get a little bit stiff. But other than that, when you start hitting up to a little bit quicker speeds, the DSSVs really smooth out and they keep everything so freaking level, it's unbelievable. But if you guys haven't seen one of these cars before, like I said, the Jeff Gordon car has just these gold accents on the outside and this was for, like I said, children's cancer. So definitely for a fantastic cause, the outside of this car. I mean, just absolutely menacing is just an understatement. I mean, look at that massive grill, the flow tie. This thing's gonna stay cool. The LED daytime running lights. I mean, it's the entire package. I am very happy, very impressed with this car. I'm super happy I got another chance to mess around with it because ultimately my first experience might not have necessarily been the best one. Because that car was brand new and I couldn't really put it through its paces, it didn't have a lot of miles on it, so I didn't wanna go crazy on the throttle. I don't think I experienced it as well as I should have. That's pretty much gonna do it for the video. Let me know what you think down below. Is the ZL1 1LE something that could be in your future? And if not, tell me why. 
because we need to have a discussion. I think this car is absolutely insane. And if you don't think so, you may want to go drive one because it's going to change your mind, I promise. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the car, about the cause, about Jeff Gordon, anything like that, leave them in the comment section down below or shoot me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com, and I'll make sure you get an answer. If you guys haven't checked out Click Lewis recently, definitely check out Click Lewis. I'm going to link all the stuff down in the description below. You're going to want to talk to Mike Matarazzo or Greg Lewis. They will take care of you up here. Make sure you get cars like this or the C8s or the Corvettes. They have some fantastic cars you're going to want to check out. Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. We're going to have loads of content like this you're not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload. One more time, Alex. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely, my I, pleasure. I appreciate the uh, the ability to drive such a freaking monster. Well, I mean, thank you for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. So that's it, Alex. Enjoy the car, man. Thank you so much.